What's up, everybody? I'm Josh, and I'm uh, the owner of Chaos Firearms, located in Red Rock, Arizona. And I just wanted to bring you three things to factor in when buying your AR-15. Now, uh, with that, I'm also kind of answer some questions that I get. Kind of th three things to factor in is pr pretty much hand in hand with the three things that I get asked the most. Uh, so right off the top, um, whenever I'm doing a show or I have my lowers, and I, I carry multiple ranges of lower receivers. Uh, different manufacturers, different, you know, um, designs, and I get asked which one's better. That's probably the most common question I guess I get asked is which one is better. All right, now when it comes down to a low receiver, I kind of tell everyone, um, and this is my personal opinion, and I'm sure you're all going to have a field day with the comments, but forged is forged. We already know that forged aluminum is better than billet aluminum. Um, only because the billet aluminum machines sometimes go with a lower grade steel um, or aluminum, I should say. Uh, with that, it's just because it's easier to machine. But you do get a cooler design. Uh, I have an Anderson right here, just your basic mill spec. There's something crazy or special about it. I have spikes uh, that you have their custom engraving, but it's pretty much all their custom. And then I do have an arrow. So this, as you're going to notice, is it's gonna have a little bit more machining marks on it. It's gonna look a little bit cooler. And when it comes down to the end of it, chemically made up, the forge lower is definitely going to be um, at least twice as strong. All right, so the first thing to factor in is what is your purpose? So with that, I always ask people when they come up to my table and they say, hey, you know, what, what's the best one I can buy? Or what's the difference? And I, and I always answer and reply with, well, what's your purpose? That is my go-to. There's many different platforms. Uh, the AR-15 is very versatile in self-defense, target, and hunting. You can use it for a wide range of things. Um, the most common reason why is just to have one, you know? Uh, but I, I'm currently doing a build right now for a customer. He's using it as a truck gun. Uh, so he needs something small, compact. He doesn't need something that is rifle length like this one right here. Um, he, this is this is a pistol, but he is doing something a little shorter than this, something that he can uh, keep concealed in his vehicle. He does a lot of traveling. Um, he does cattle, so he travels a lot. He's got a big truck, and he's got a big old center console that he's going to put that in. So um, I always ask people, what's your purpose? So the second most common question I get asked is, how much? So uh, I have lower receivers that start off under $100, and they go up. Um, I have inexpensive rifles that start off, you know, under 500 and I go up from there. Uh, it just depends on, on where you want to go, which leads me to my second thing. The second thing to factor in is budget. So what a lot of you guys need to realize is you are not going to buy a Ferrari on a Honda budget. And if you're spending a Ferrari budget, you don't want to buy a Honda. So with that, the internals are what's the most important thing to me. Um, number one, trigger bolt carrier group, and barrel. Those three things together will dramatically increase your accuracy. Um, it, you're you're going to have a better overall shooting experience. Uh, you're going to see less jams. You're going to see less malfunctions. Your rifle's probably going to shoot a little bit smoother. Uh, now, I would say a close fourth is obviously the buffer. Buffer and gas systems kind of go together. Uh, you don't want it over-gassed or under-gassed. You're system also with your buffer is going to kind of equal you know newton's law every action has an equal and opposite reaction and, and those two kind of go together so i'm going to say that's four and five interchangeably either way you look at it all right so the number three thing that you should factor in and last but definitely not least is something that i don't hear a lot of people talk about and what what caliber you're going to run so everyone knows the ar-15 is a multi-caliber uh platform and you can run you know, 5.56, five, 300 blackout, 6.5 uh, Grendel. You can run um, 9 mil with uh, the right lowers. You can you can get conversion kits for for that. Um, and there, there are multiple calibers I can list off the top of my head. Um, and I can go on, and, and that's one of the benefits of this platform. So you can swap out the upper, keep your lower. Swap out your upper to whatever you want, but uh, you kind of got to know your your caliber. So uh, for me, that's going to kind of tie into the you know first and second thing. What's your purpose? Are you shooting varmints? Are you shooting 
uh, groundhogs? Are you, are you, what, what are you shooting? Are you shooting, you know, sod poodles? Are you out there just hunting squirrels? Or do you have a hog problem? Maybe you got a farm and you got a, you got a hog problem. They're coming in there, eating your cattle. Um, maybe you're going to go shoot some big game or something like that. So you're going to want different um, calibers for different purposes. So I don't see anyone with, you know, their 9mm and they're going to go try to shoot a 1,000 yards with it. Um, so you're not going to want to do that. And you also don't need a 300 blackout to shoot 10 feet um, to kill a squirrel. So you just, there's, there's different, different tools to get the job done. And I don't think a lot of people take that in consideration. I think people just, oh, 556, five, 223, and that's all it is. And it's just... One of those things where uh, 300 blackout is definitely gaining uh, momentum and now that the suppressors are going through really fast that it's definitely an avenue and option to go through is, is running 300 blackout. So that was my three things that I think you should factor in when buying your rifle and I'm sure the internet will have a uh, field day and they'll have their own opinions. So please, if you agree, disagree, whatever, however you feel, make sure you write a comment in, let me know. If you like this video, please like it. And if you're not subscribed to us, please subscribe to us. So uh, I can only grow this channel with the help of you guys. So if you want to see more videos like this, like and subscribe.